If you've been trying to mod GTA 5 Enhanced, by now you should know that nothing works anymore the way it used to work. OpenIV is completely outdated with the new release of the game. That's why in this video I'm going to teach you a quick solution which is called OpenRPF, which literally replaces the OpenIV.ASI file that used to let us mod the game. If you want to start modding GTA 5 Enhanced, this is a video for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, the first step to download and install OpenRPF for GTA 5 Enhanced is to click the second link in the description. This is a written guide, very detailed, very in-depth on how to download and do this. I made this guide in case this video was too fast for you. You could always go back to that second link down there and read through it because I know it might be a little bit complicated, especially if you have never modded a game, let alone GTA 5. Anyways, if you want to make it quick, come down here, go to step one. You could use a quick navigation menu and then over here, click on this button right here or on this link right here. It's going to take you to the same place, which is the OpenRPF page within GTA 5 mods.com, the official page to download this mod from. Before we download it, I want to thank Los Santos Multiple player for making this mod available to the community and keep in mind before you comment something down below this is work in progress there's a still a lot of other mods that are still updating like a script v still trying to catch up to all the updates that are being released for gta 5 enhanced nonetheless once you're over here click on the download button right here this big green download button you really can't miss it once you click on there it's gonna bring you over here and we're gonna click this other download button which looks exactly the same like the other one just a little bit bigger and the download will begin right away for the open rpf file let's go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop it should be a zip file you can find that file in your recent download history or within your downloads folder in your computer now once we have this file on the desktop let's go ahead and extract it to do so just right click on it and click extract all this is an option you have available if you're using windows 11 if you have windows 10 you might have something similar and if you have any other windows you might have to download winrar or 7zip to do this process now let's go ahead and hit extract all in here so we could get that folder which i just got open on my other screen and as you can see, this folder contains two files, a DLL file, the dsound file, and the openrpf.asi, which is the file that replaces openiv.asi, the one that doesn't work anymore with GTA 5 Enhanced, right? Now, the dsound DLL, as far as my understanding goes, it's kind of a replacement for the dinput file that comes with the script hook V, if I'm not mistaken. And feel free to correct me in the comments. This is still pretty new to me as well. Now, once we have these files in here, it's time to add it to the game. We're going to have to locate our installation of the game. I know a lot of people always get lost in this step, locating their installation of the game. That's why in every single guide, like the one in the second link in the description, I always add a little area in there that tells you the most common locations for GTA 5 to be installed, in this case, GTA 5 Enhanced. But I'm going to show you how to find your GTA 5 location no matter what. What you want to do is open the launcher where you got your game from. Let's say you got it from Steam. It's going to work the same way through Epic Games, and it's going to be the same way through the Rockstar launcher. Once you open your launcher, go ahead and locate your game you want to find the enhanced version and not the legacy edition and once you find the enhanced version you want to right click on it you want to head over to manage and then you want to head over to browse local files i know in the epic games launcher it's going to be something like open install location or something like that but it's still the same process go ahead and click in there and now you will get this folder in here which is the install of gta 5. now i always say that before you modify gta 5 i recommend you that you back out of it and you make a copy of the game you just duplicate it so you could have a fresh install of the game in case anything goes wrong when you're trying to mod but i know that you know duplicating your game might be a little bit heavy because it's a lot of gigabytes to do so but hey i'm letting you know don't say i didn't tell you now once you have this folder open what we're going to do is drag and drop the open rpf file into this folder it's super simple just go ahead and drag and drop it into here and like i was saying earlier you don't have to add the d sound because that is an optional file and if you're going to be installing a script with v later i think that file should be covered already but i still had to let you know now once you have the open rpf file in the installation folder of your grand theft auto enhanced you're not done yet you still have to do a couple of steps what we need to do next is create a new folder so go ahead and click right click and hit new and then hit folder and then name that folder mods m-o-d-s and you want to go ahead and open that mods folder up it should be an empty folder now and what you want to do now is create another new folder in this empty folder and name it update so just go ahead and create a new folder name it update this is the folder that we're going to use to install our mods so we don't ruin our actual clean install version of the game and we install them all into this folder which we could later on delete and then go back to the regular gta right but we're not done yet you want to go back out of the mods folder into the main installation folder and you want to find a folder in here called update just like the folder we just created and you want to go ahead and open that folder up and in here you're going to see multiple files but you're looking for a file called update.rpf go ahead and select that file and then hit ctrl c once you have that file selected all right click and hit copy 
go back out of this folder into the main folder open that mods folder app that we just created, open the update file that we also created, and then go ahead and hit Control V to paste that file into here, or you could also right click and hit paste to paste that file into here. Now you could back out of there and actually close this folder, and you're still not done, because if you try to play GTA 5 right now, it's going to crash, it's going to close the game. And the reason you might have crashes when you're trying to play online using any type of mods is because of Battle Eye. So first, I have to tell you, don't use mods online because it's not allowed to, and you might be banned if you you get caught using some mod menu or stuff like that online and second of all if you want to play your game without the game crashing you have to disable battle light to do that go ahead and open your rockstar launcher you should have a rockstar launcher regardless of where you install the game from steam and epic games will require you to install the rockstar launcher as well go ahead and open it and log in with your rockstar account now once you open the rockstar launcher go ahead and head over to settings and in here you have to disable battle eye because that will be blocking you from opening the game whenever you're trying to use mods on gta 5 enhanced so you have to disable it right here just go ahead and turn it off and then you could close this out or you could go back into the games and play your gta 5 from here and that is it guys you are now able to start modding gta 5 i'm also going to be making a video on how to install code walker which is going to allow you to do all the functions that OpenIV used to let you do like manage your files install mods using the file manager 3d model your world whatever you want to do that is a video that i will be posting soon so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any tutorials on gta and many other games thank you for watching and as always bye bye